The skeleton was a male and measured about six meters. However, the most amazing fact about this skeleton is that next to the giant skeleton were found remains of a serpent. It is said that the giant skeleton must have been killed by a horned snake in a cave. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. My name is Yutikas if you are new. And like I've said before, always do your own research when it comes to any information you consume even this one and so without wasting any time let's get to the video giants of death valley giant bodies were found in an underground network of tunnels in death valley the bodies were found with remains of prehistoric animals precious items and huge weapons the giant human skeletons were nine feet tall and about eighty thousand years old a newspaper in san diego first reported the news in 1947 but the story along with the giant remains seemed to have disappeared in thin air how could such a historic discovery just fade away what a strange world indeed the serpent mound yeah, I mean, uh, there was a guy who was eight feet tall. I don't remember his name. So, giants uh, being a thing is actually possible. You know, I mean, they, they even people nowadays who are seven feet tall, and everyone is just getting taller all over the world. So yeah, I do believe giants might have uh, might have existed in the past at some point in human history. In 1894, an Ohio farmer was hunting foxes when he stumbled upon something of major archaeological interest. He discovered graves that contained ancient giants. The graves were located in Hillsboro, Ohio. Interestingly, the graves were right next to a serpent mound. When scientists looked into the graves, they saw found large-sized bones and other body parts. Many believe that these graves are the same graves that have been cited in the biblical account called the Nephilim. Some people believe that the whole story is a plain hoax. The Bible It would be a rational position to take if we said that biblical evidence isn't worth much. Nevertheless, many historians have used the Bible for various references. When it comes to our topic, the Bible is a good example, for it states that giants have existed since the times of the Old Testament. For instance, it narrates the story of the big Goliath whom David defeated with a stone and a sling. I mean, yeah, there are uh, several instances in uh, the Bible where it uh, mentions giants. And uh, furthermore, if you want to look uh, into a uh, text similar to that one, you can go and uh, find the Book of Enoch, which is considered non-canonical. But uh, if uh, it might be a good read if you like that, uh, if you like that kind of stuff. Giant ape tooth. A German scientist visited an apothecary in Hong Kong looking for dragon teeth. During his visit, he stumbled upon a large molar in a dusty drawer of trinkets. The most interesting fact is that the tooth did not belong to a dragon or an ape. Rather, it was evidence in the existence of a gigantic creature called a Pithecus. The Pithecus is the largest species of primate ever discovered and is believed to have partial human origins. Members of this species stood about 10 feet tall and weighed 1,200 pounds. The tooth found by the German scientist dated back 9 million to 100,000 million years. This story kind of reminds one of King Kong, doesn't it? I don't know about that one, but um, it could have been like something uh, uh, like a molar of uh, an elephant or something. But yeah, yeah, I mean, if you believe in dinosaurs and uh, which has been proven, which uh, have been proven to have existed, yeah, it's possible that there were giant apes at uh, one point or another. But yeah, always do your research and uh, go and look for this stuff yourself. And uh, if you find anything interesting, you can come here and uh, send me what you found uh, in the comments. Mexican Giants in March 2015, a photo went viral on social media showing gigantic human skulls. These skulls were allegedly unearthed in a small village in Sierra de Tapalapa in southern Mexico. It was later revealed that the picture wasn't authentic. It was a graphic artist's work. 
Nevertheless, the picture did spark a discussion about a giant race known as Quina Metzin that supposedly roamed Mexico. 20 feet tall Zehua and 10 feet tall Tilcasin were said to be members of this family. An amazing discovery indeed. Mysterious Giant Skeleton in the Krasnodar region of northern Caucasus, a team of Russian archaeologists made a wonderful discovery. While excavating a historical site, they found the bones of giants. The bones are believed to be the remains of ancient people belonging in the Bronze Age who lived about 4,000 years ago. Archaeologists revealed that the male skeletons measured a full 2 meters in height, while female skeletons measured approximately 1.7 meters. The I do wish he provided more sources for um, the, this uh, video, but um, I don't know. I don't know about that one. So be careful when it comes to like fake information. Don't just believe anything you hear. And uh, I, th I think I've said this a lot, but uh, go look for uh, this information uh, yourself. It's easier and it's better. You get. Uh, 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 to get this information first hand. Giant of Ohio. This is a giant story from Ohio. Workmen engaged in excavating a cellar located on Webster Street across from a mammoth skeleton one day. The large sized skeleton clearly indicated that the human to whom the skeleton belonged was of a giant stature. The skeleton measured seven feet in height. Most of the bones of this gigantic skeleton crumbled as soon as they were exposed to the air. Hence, archeologists were not able to ascertain whether it was of American origin or Indian origin. One thing is certain, the remains must have been interred a long, long time ago. Yeah, um, seven feet people do exist. So uh, yeah, that's probably true. I don't know how many of them there are, but uh, there are quite a number of them out there. So even in the NBA, you can go look it up if you're interested. The Giant Skull of a Cyclops. But first, do us a favor. Click that like button to inspire us. Subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell and you won't miss any interesting videos. Done then? Let's go. Some discoveries may sound like creepypasta, but they were actually real stories. On a foggy winter day, a group of men suddenly came across something that was completely out of the ordinary. An enormous skull with the socket of a single eye was discovered. The grotesque looking skull belonged to a massive monster. Archaeologists linked the skeleton to a huge mammal giant called a cyclop that only had one red eye. It was estimated that this cyclop was six feet tall and weighed six tons. This intriguing fossil was estimated to be at least three million years old. Now that I know is definitely a lie. It's a, it's an elephant uh, elephant skull. You know the eyes are, are on the side, and uh, that whole big space in the middle is where the tusk usually is. So, yeah, that was a lie. The famous giant of Alzo. Recently, researchers unearthed remains of a famous giant known as Miguel Joaquin Eleguisi. Miguel is considered an important historical figure. He traveled throughout Europe in the 19th century and met with royalties like Queen Victoria. It is believed that Miguel was born with gigantism. As a grown man, he stood seven feet tall and weighed 470 pounds. After his death in 1861, his remains were interred in a cemetery in Auzo, Spain. Surprisingly, his skeletons, which were long thought to have been stolen, were later found in the same cemetery where he was originally buried. Unique Giant Skeleton in Thailand A huge ancient humanoid skeleton was found in a cave in Kirabi, Thailand. The skeleton was a male and measured about 6 meters. However, the most amazing fact about this skeleton is that next to the giant skeleton were found remains of a serpent. It is said that the giant skeleton must have been killed by a horned snake in a cave. This discovery sparked widespread public curiosity. It left people wondering whether snakes sneak into graves to feast on the dead. Which of these discoveries was the most amazing? Do you think giants exist even today? Please let us know in the comments. Yeah, so that's the end of the video. And uh, when I was reacting uh, to this one, uh, mind you, I do not watch these videos prior, so I didn't know that uh, I'd lie so much. But um, yeah, you live, you learn. 
and yeah thank you for watching if you did watch this far and i'll see you amazing people in the next video